4th of October 2015. It was a Merseyside derby that day, which ended 1-1. But I remember Liverpool playing so badly in that match. Play was slow, the players were ponderous at times, they didn't gel well, they didn't seem to know what they were doing. And the season up to that point as a whole had also been quite bad. Inconsistent results, and it felt as if it would just be another mid-table season. I remember after that match ended, I felt really disappointed because of the result, and I was just sitting around, looking at some news, thinking about what to do. Then, a while after the match ended, breaking news came in. Brendan Rogers was sacked. As soon as I saw that, I thought to myself, wow, they, they really actually did it. He is finally gone. And almost immediately after this news broke out, conversation and the speculation shifted to who would be the new manager coming in. At the time, there were two front runners, one being Jurgen Klopp, who had just left Borussia Dortmund a couple months prior, and the other was Carlo Ancelotti, who had just left Real Madrid a couple months prior. Klopp was seen as the favourite for the job, and there was the sense that he is a good fit for Liverpool because of the work that he had done at Dortmund for the previous seven years or so. Then within just a few days after that, more news came in. Jürgen Klopp was signed, sealed, and delivered. And at his press conference, And in that press conference, there were two things I, I remember quite well at this point now. The first being that, that famous phrase, turning doctors into believers. During the season, Liverpool still had some inconsistent results, they would somehow lose to teams that they were expected to beat. Then they would come up with wins against the teams that were regarded as stronger, winning away at Chelsea, winning away at Manchester City as well. But the first time that I, re I can recall just being in awe was it was that Europa League quarter final, that second leg against Dortmund. Liverpool went down Liverpool were down 2-0 you know, in the first half. They put one back early in the second half, 1-2. Then they were 1-3 down on the hour. Then somehow a fight back. 2-3, 3-3, but the 3-3 result meant they were still going out on away goals. And in that stoppage time, in that last minute winner, that was the first time after Klopp had arrived where I really felt like, wow, wow, this team, some of these players, they can produce something special. That was the first time I really felt that way about the team. I remember that day, just watching the results, I was, I was wondering myself, just what was I watching? I felt goosebumps on my, on my hands, on my arms. And of course, at the time, it, it, it felt like at the time as it happened, it felt like a really big, improbable comeback. 
And yet, looking back now, that was almost like just a prelude of what was to come. After that initial three quarters of the season of the arrive, it was steady progress year on year after that. Hitting the top four in, you know, in his first full season. Then in the season after that, getting the Champions League final and also finishing the top four. Then that famous 18-19 season. 97 points. It's on the league title by one. But everyone always remembers that 4-0 comeback against Barcelona. It seemed even more improbable than, than that Dortmund match, given who Liverpool were playing against, given who was in that team. The likes of Suarez, the likes of Messi, and Liverpool had players missing. Salah was injured, Nino was injured. And yet, and yet, they turn around that 3-0 first leg loss into a 4-3 win on aggregate. And I think that match, that match really summed up what Klopp and his Liverpool team have been about more than any other match I can recall in all this time that he's been here. Of course, Liverpool went on to the final where they won the trophy. Which brings me to the second thing that I remember about his press conference. He said before that when he sat there again in four years, they would have won one title or one trophy by that point. And what a trophy it was. Champions League, Champions of Europe again, six times, and that trophy was very much a catalyst for Liverpool to kick on and win more. Only season, Super Cup, won the Club World Cup, first time ever in club history, and finally that Premier League trophy. Then following on from that, and the next two, uh, two seasons after that, a very valiant try for a quadruple. In the end, it was 2 out of 4, winning the League Cup, winning the FA Cup, missing on the lead by one point again, losing in the Champions League final to Real Madrid again. But that season, Despite the laughter from other people and other fans, that season was nothing to be ashamed of. A season like that is it's far better than what, mo what most other clubs get to have. But that in itself, you know, a season like that, in my eyes, it's already a very, a very successful one. One proud of. When Klopp eventually leaves at the end of the season, he would have been at Liverpool for almost nine years. And in those nine years, there, there are people even now saying that should he have won more, could he have won more? In my opinion, when, when I ask myself this question, could Klopp and this Liverpool team have won more in his time? Yes, probably. But do I see this period as some kind of disappointment that he didn't win more? No, not at all. When I think about why Liverpool were before he arrived, and when I think about heights that he brought Liverpool to you know, in his time here. I don't think about the trophies that 
was so close but got away. I don't let it eat me up. I don't feel somehow bitter or disappointed about it. I feel happy that we actually won something at all. That we have won the trophies that we did. I feel happy that I had the chance to see the Wendy's big major trophies at all. And that's what sticks with me. The good memories, the good times, the positive moments. And I think in some way, this is an aspect that I think Klopp that wanted his players and the fans to lean towards, to be positive, hopeful, not feel down and let hits drop. And again, with the end of the season coming in, the, in four months' time, hopefully the team will be positive again for him, for themselves as well, actually. Him, for themselves, for the club, for the fans. Make a good push in every competition, win as many trophies as they can. Get as good a send off as they possibly can for a very special manager who has given so much and brought so much to the club, its fans. Club is a unique manager, and I don't think we'll see another one like him possibly ever. <laughs>